Anthrozoology is our newest major and our newest addition from a programmatic standpoint here at Beacon. This is a bachelor's of science program where we study and look at how humans and animals interact in many different contexts. So we look at companion animals, we look at captive wildlife, we look at conservation wildlife issues. And so we don't focus on a single species uh, when we work with our students, but we look at multiple animals in multiple contexts and really prepare them for a career once they leave here working in an animal related field of their interest and giving them you know, assets and skills that are transferable to any of the animal industries. So now what we're going to do is we're going to record the total occurrences that exist. I'm going to assign you an animal that's in this room and you're going to actually fill this out, okay? I'm going to give you a time period, okay? I will tell you when to start and I'll tell you when to stop. And you're going to record and you're going to make a tally of every time one of these behaviors occur. We are the second undergraduate institution in North America to offer this as a degree, and we're one of three in North America to offer it in total. And so it's a growing field of study. Uh, we're recognized by the International Society for Anthrozoology within our program, and all of our professors that teach in the program are members of that organization, and we're well connected to many individuals who teach in this area and who study this area. What other questions do you guys have? <laughs> Louis going to do his paper on hairs and captivity. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to his presentation. This here is Louie. <laughs> I got him from a rescue in Melbourne Beach, which is about three hours away from here. I'm a third year anthropology major here at Beacon College. I really love working with animals, interacting with them, and then talking to people about them. And it just, just felt right. What I can argue though is that the animal moved forward because of blank, right? I don't know why, right? That's why I'm doing this. I'm being able to analyze it and I can go back and look at it. Uh, if you say the animal remains, is remaining stationary, mm -hmm. But so, I'm not really sure if it's resting or? Correct. So stationary means that it's just staying still. I don't know why it's staying still. Resting gives me that impression that it's relaxing, it's, it's chilling, it's all that kind of stuff, but we don't know, like right? I was observing Elsa, and she actually laid down and like put her feet up in front of behind her. That was, that's resting. Correct. And resting in certain animals and certain species, we can define what resting truly looks like, right? In other species, we cannot. After Beacon College, I hope to work for a zoo, hopefully for a few years, and get a master's. Maybe a master's in anthropology, but I'm kind of hoping for a master's in ornithology. So with the general education course that we offer here, um, they are the scientists in the field working to solve some of our issues. In the anthropology program, our courses are taught at an animal shelter or at a zoo or at um, a state park. And so we're immersive, we're working side by side with the professionals in that area. And it's a great experience and learning opportunity for our students to apply what they're learning and also network with these individuals for future internships, jobs, and really to see how what they're learning in the classroom applies to the real life. Can you bring him up? You want to make sure he's nice and supported. Do you want to make sure his feet are up against your arms or right. under your arms? You can do either one. If you do this, see how I have him on my hip? Right, you can't push off even. You can't push off, right. Well, okay. There you go. I'll put him right in your lap. There you go. Good job. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to be able to get him in one central spot. And I use this mechanism the same way that I'll do the crate. Great. Great. So we use that same mechanism, that same technique, to be able to get them to go into the crates and back into their closures. It's, there's kind of a natural you know, attraction between students that have a learning disability and animals. Um, a lot of research has demonstrated that it's just kind of a natural fit and that our student population that we serve here at Beacon College really kind of identifies with animals and they really kind of share a similar bond with one another. Our students you know, and our animals just gel immediately with one another and it's a really fantastic experience to see.